Hello, I'm Chancellor Andy Levitt. I'm excited to join you as we launch this spring semester on the three campuses of UW Oshkosh. I'm choosing to use video to welcome you all back and offer some updates so that I can best reach students, faculty, and staff members on all three of our campuses. I know we have shared emails with you over the last couple of months offering some very encouraging updates on new developments and momentum. But I understand that holidays, breaks, and time with family may have made it hard to keep up to speed. So, here I am today. 2019 is a turning point for UW Oshkosh. As we move past some historic challenges and make progress on others, the university is gaining momentum due to the sacrifice, hard work, and innovation of its students, faculty, and staff. I am proud to be the chancellor of an institution that meets its challenges and opportunities head on. We are moving forward in a renewed spirit of possibility. It is easy to take our eye off what is important as we manage through these challenges. We are all drawn to the work and life of this university because of its mission, educating people, supporting a region, and taking care of one another. I want to begin by revisiting a few UW Oshkosh leadership challenges and updates. Last November, and after a competitive national search, I selected John Coker to serve as our next provost and vice chancellor for academic affairs. In late December, UW System President Ray Cross announced his appointment of our vice chancellor for student affairs, Cheryl Green, as the interim chancellor at UW Whitewater. In Dr. Green's stead, I appointed UW Oshkosh associate vice chancellor and dean of students, Dr. Art Munin, as our institution's acting vice chancellor for student affairs. As a result of this appointment, many administrators within the division of student affairs have stepped up into other important roles to serve our students. I'm also delighted to report that UW Oshkosh economics professor Chad Cotty has agreed to step forward as interim associate vice chancellor for enrollment management. Professor Cotty has been helping UWO examine how we can stabilize and grow enrollment and revenue on all three campuses. Thanks to the hard work of admissions, university marketing and communication, IT, and many others, we are on track to meet or exceed our success this fall from this fall 2018's first year class. In January, I reconstituted the Division of University Advancement and renamed it the Division of University Affairs to reflect its broader role in the support of the university. I was pleased to appoint Robert Roberts as the interim vice chancellor for university affairs. I thank all of these leaders for their flexibility and service. In late December, UW Oshkosh and the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh Foundation reached an agreement that will forge a new fundraising partnership. Together, we renew a commitment to current and future students, faculty and staff members, and the greater UW Oshkosh community. We will work with the volunteer leaders of the new Titan Alumni Foundation and the UW Foundation to chart a path forward. The court supervised settlement, now signed and final, ends the costly litigation that threatened to continue burdening UW Oshkosh and Wisconsin taxpayers for additional months, if not years. We can also report that, as a part of the agreement, UW Oshkosh and the state retain the Alumni Welcome and Conference Center which will be renamed Culver Family Welcome Center and the Witzel Biodigester. Both are proven assets supporting university functions, fundraising, and student learning. We are also proud to have the Culver name strongly associated with the university and thanks to Mr. Craig Culver for his generosity. The agreement with the UWO Foundation also has immediate, incredibly positive ramifications for the unnoticed status that our university's accreditation agency, the Higher Learning Commission, had placed on the institution back in 2017. A day after we briefed our HLC partners on the encouraging foundation developments, they notified us of an accelerated opportunity and process to remove the on-notice status by summer. Needless to say, we're getting right to work on this. We have maintained an excellent collaborative relationship with our accreditors and they have been supportive in our, of our efforts to move forward. This leads me to our hard work on the Oshkosh campus to follow and fulfill our plan 
for fiscal transformation, which I first outlined to you over a year ago. You can expect to learn more from Provost Coker on the efforts in the weeks ahead. However, I can tell you today the remarkable progress we have, been made, we have made cutting in half the original 9.6 million financial gap we faced on the Oshkosh campus just one year ago. We are on course to complete our plan on time and close the remaining $4.6 million gap over the next two years. Our plan is working to bring our finances into balance. We have another difficult year ahead of us. This plan has meant pain and uncertainty for people at UW Oshkosh. I cannot say enough about the sacrifices people are making and the temporary additional responsibilities and duties people are taking on to help protect students' experience and get us through this difficult process. Enrollment is the key on all campuses to ensure fiscal stability. We must continue to press forward on efforts to stabilize and grow enrollments on the access campuses of UW-Fox and UW-Fond du Lac. All campuses must be growing to ensure vibrancy and fiscal stability. So far, we are hitting the marks we need to hit to put this behind us. So, I thank everyone for their sacrifices and understanding. We are paying a heavy price to ensure the fiscal stability of our institution into the future. Our overall restructuring project continues to progress in a spirit of collaboration and collegiality. The faculty, staff, and students on the UW Fond du Lac and UW Fox Access campuses continue to demonstrate resiliency and understanding. You continue to live up to your label, Change Warriors. I cannot say enough about the spirit of oneness that the students, faculty, and staff are embracing throughout the entire university. I am proud of the direction our joining has taken. Yes, at times it is frustrating and somewhat messy. This is a testament to the high level of engagement and participation in the formation of critical decisions. We want to include and respect all voices. I know there are still hard decisions about curricula, enrollment, and the fusion of services to be made. However, I see collegiality in action, and I'd ask we keep that spirit of collaboration alive. I'm looking forward to Provost Coker's launch of a new strategic planning effort this spring involving not only all three campuses' communities, but our many community allies and stakeholders. This is our first attempt as a three-campus institution to imagine and prioritize what we can and will achieve and become as we serve more people and organizations throughout a broader region. All campuses currently have solid plans in place. The Access campuses developed plans prior to regionalization that capture the uniqueness of each campus. We all have great starting points for the conversations to come. We must reimagine, transform, and enhance the lives of our faculty and staff. I will not back away from this. This is important to your happiness and the fulfillment at UW Oshkosh. I know I offer a lot of information in this single update, and you may have many questions still unanswered. I have not addressed topics related to shared governance, campus climate, the new budget model, and sustainability. I look forward to engaging you in the weeks and months ahead. Please continue to attend the coffees with the Chancellor and Provost as we begin to offer those during the semester. As I close, I ask you to never lose hope as we work through some historic challenges at UW Oshkosh. We will get through this and be in a much better position to serve our students and the region. Three campuses, one university. The vision of our new university with greater reach and that is fiscally stable is within grasp. These challenges will end. I look forward to the spring semester ahead and all the ways we will continue to help transform the lives of our students. Thank you for all that you do.